I am very happy to welcome my friend Terry Ray back to the program. He's here to tell us about the final production of the inaugural season uh, of his theater company. And you are putting on uh, really kind of a legendary play yes. and a controversial play, The Boys in the Band. Right, The Boys in the Band. We're bringing it back because it's an iconic gay play and we just wanted to have that kind of uh, farewell to our first iconic season for us. It so. did more than just raise eyebrows when it first came out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it it shows the warts and all, and yeah. it's uh, it's can you still find some love in these characters because of what they've been through? But we've got a really cool twist on it. My uh, my partner with the band is Steve Rosenbaum, and he's the director, and he's got a great eye, and he's finding new ways to do it. And one thing that we're doing different is we're making the characters all middle-aged men instead of in the 30s because. You know, they had 30-year-olds as over the hill back then. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give them a real hill. And you just told me a really interesting and unique uh, local tie-in. Yes. Uh, Lucien and his, his husband, Larry Luckenbill, who's a great actor, uh, actually starred in the original production of this play and then later on went on to do the movie as well. The right. First they, movie. they used the original cast for the movie. It became a cult hit. People quote it all the time. There's so many great lines from it. You can get them on coffee mugs and stuff. It's, it's a little... Gay cult classic. <laughs> Gay cult classic. Uh, <laughs> so talk about the, the overall season, how it's gone thus far, and, and how the theater company The Bend is doing. It's been an amazing journey. Okay, so we started in December because there was no gay theater in Palm Springs, and we, like, Steve and I were like, there's got to be one. So we formed an LLC. We had each put $20 in the bank, and then once we got the checks printed, we had $4.95 in the bank when we opened our first play in December, which was wow. the Lincoln debate, which is something I wrote, which we had to do because we couldn't afford the rights to anything. So it had to be something that I wrote. But a very interesting play because you used all, you sourced all original material. Yes, all uh, true, all it, facts it, it, about the, the four years that Abraham Lincoln slept with the, uh, this man in the same bed uh, when they had other options. So uh, it's, an, it's an interesting story. At the same time, he was courting Mary Todd during the whole right. time. And you allowed people to kind of see the material and, and make a judgment for themselves, which I... Put it in context with what's happening, layered it together, and it's, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's fascinating. Yes. Uh, and so you're, you're culminating the season with this uh, uh, cult classic, uh, but very important in, in the LGBTQ community because it's... it was such a landmark uh, play when it first came out. It means a lot. A lot of people, it's, it's a rough play to watch. It's a great play and it's funny too. It's a funny comedy. It's got a lot going on, but it really tells the story and it's it, weirdly... It's hilarious, but also raw and, uh, and yeah. pretty pretty dark stuff at times. Yeah, it goes so, there. It, it goes there. It goes there okay. and it's, uh, it's still relevant, which is it's sad, but still well, relevant. Well, I, I love the fact that you are bringing these kinds of productions and I know it's important for the community to hear this voice and it is important to have a theater that represents what is so much a part of our community. Well, thank you. We're excited, uh, and, and I hope that people, we're, we're using all local actors, and I hope people will audition for us and join us and, and help volunteer, which we're getting people who are starting to hear about us and saying, hey, I want to do something, which is perfect. We need it. Well, congratulations on a successful inaugural season. That's always the toughest, and, mm -hmm. but now you get your sea legs, and we'll look forward to next season. Yes. I want everybody uh, to head out and check out The Boys in the Band, the 28th of April through May the 7th. It takes place at the Palm Springs Cultural Center. You can go to thebent.org, which is the name of the theater company, and uh, I think that you'll find it very thought-provoking. And Terry always does a fantastic job with his, with his crew. So thanks for coming on. Thanks, Patrick.